Welcome to Microsoft Access 101, Introduction to Access, brought to you by MyOnlineLearningPartner.com and 599CD.com. My name is Richard Ross. I'll be your instructor for today's course. You can reach me at Richard at MYOLP.com. Let's go over the objectives for today's course. We're going to learn about Microsoft Access. We're going to learn what is a database the parts of a database, we're going to design a table, we're going to enter and edit data, we'll build a few sample queries, we'll construct a data entry form, and we'll create some mailing labels. Our goal is to get you up and running quickly today. We'll cover more details in future classes. In today's class, my goal is to just get you up and running, get you building a database, get you working with some data. So we're going to quickly go over tables, queries, forms, and different access database components. In our future classes, we'll dive into these topics in more detail. But for today, we want to get you up and running quickly. Prerequisites. The prerequisites for this course are Windows 101, Introduction to Computers, and Windows 102 or Windows 110, our introduction to Windows 98 or Windows XP classes, respectively. It is also strongly recommended that you have also taken Word 101 and Excel 101. In our Word class, we go over a lot of crucial concepts like cut, copy, and paste. And knowing spreadsheet fundamentals, rows and columns and such, from Excel will really help you when it comes to understanding database technology. So if you have Word 101 or Excel 101, we recommend you watch those courses first. Again, these courses aren't required, but they are recommended. Versions used. In this course, we're going to be using Microsoft Access XP, the 2002 edition, and Windows XP. However, most of this course is valid for just about every version of Microsoft Access or Windows. Whether you're using Access 2000 or even 97, just about everything we're going to cover in today's course will be the same for you. In addition, the version of Windows that you're using really doesn't make a difference for today's course. You could be using Windows 95, 98, and so on, and still be able to use this course. 